Quiz three, we have a list of the highest paid actors in 2011 and we're asked to calculate and interpret Tom Cruise's Z-score. Okay, in order to figure out the Z-scores, we'll need to know a few things. We'll need to know X bar and we'll need to know the standard deviation. Um, I think the easiest way to figure out both of these is to put this into your calculator and do stat calc one variable statistics. So if you do that, putting all of this into a list, what you get is X bar is 31.5-ish, 31.53 repeating, and the standard deviation is 15.6. We all call it 15.65. Um, okay, so to create to calculate a z-score, we have our formula for a z-score which is our x value, maybe x sub i minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. So what it's saying is how many standard deviations above or below the mean is this value. So for Tom Cruise here, we got, where was he, 22 million. So 22 million minus the mean is 31.53 repeating divided by 15.65. And you can figure that out with the calculator as negative 0.61-ish. I think that's enough decimals. So to interpret this one, what this is saying is Tom Cruise made less than one standard deviation, maybe 0.61 standard deviations below because it's negative the mean um, of this list of top 15 actors something like that so this many standard deviations below the mean of this list right here if an actor demands to be paid the 90th percentile of this list how much does he need to be paid Okay, to figure that out, you do our 90th percentile formula, which looks like this, um, and n is 15. So we get 9 tenths times 16, which is equal to 14.4. So we want the 14, so the 90th percentile we get from the 14.4th largest observation Um, so I guess that would be the average of the 14th and the 15th, the average of 50 and 77 here. So 50 plus 77 divided by 2. And that is equal to 63.5 million dollars. Okay, using the above data, create calculate a five number summary. All right, we can do that. The min is 18. The max was, what was it, 77. Uh, Q1, median, and Q3, we can find by these formulas respectively. Like in this case, it'll be kind of nice these guys will all be integers. The 25th percentile is the fourth guy on the list, fourth largest, um, or fourth, I guess that's fourth smallest, fourth um, smallest. Um, the median will be the eighth, and the third quartile will be the 12th smallest, the 12th in order. See, am I saying that right? The 12th largest. Okay, and we can get all those just by looking up at our list. We got one, two, three, four is 20 million. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight was 28 million. And then 12 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 was 36 million. And finally, to sketch a box plot, we need a few more things. We need to know the intraquartile range, which is Q3 minus Q1, which is 36 minus 20, or 16. And then we need to set up our lower fence and our upper fence to see if we have any outliers. Our lower fence is Q1 minus 1.5 times the interquartile range, which is 20 minus 1.5 times 16, which is negative four. And our upper fence is Q3 plus 1.5 times the interquartile range, which is 36 plus one and a half sixteens, which is 60. So if you go and look at your data or our data, we got one observation that's above 60. So one guy is actually an outlier here. So when we create our box plot, what we'll do is they will take advantage of the fact that our data list from goes from 18 to 77. So not really, didn't leave myself a whole lot of room to do it. Maybe I can do it up top. Nope. All right. Um, here's my number line. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Uh, my median is at 28, so 10, 20, 8 right here. Um, Q1 is 20. Q3 is 36, so 10, 20, 10, 20, 36. So there's the box looking part. Um, my smallest observation is 18, so just barely over here. And my largest observation is 77, but 77 is above my fence here. So I kind of think it may be an outlier, so I leave it out here with an asterisk. And then my next largest observation was 50. So what I'm going to do is use that 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and draw things like that. So this right here would be my box plot, and here's my outlier, 60, 70, 80. Um, and I guess that's the end of this quiz.